Hey Pisces, cross watchers, or anybody that's just stopping by to see what we have going on over here. Welcome. All right, let's get started. Let's see what the fuck is going on with our Pisces today. card out is the ten of cups ten of cups is a happy foundation happy home happy family contentment um support from those around you Next card out, we have strength. The strength card came out in reverse. I had to pick it up off the floor, but it was in reverse. Meaning that someone could, it could be a ho household that's lacking uh, structure, lacking courage. Someone is lacking courage. Someone's lacking the strength to hold on or hold this uh, family unit together. Someone could be abusing their power. There could be fear going on, um, self-sabotage that's causing um, the family not to function properly. Five of Pentacles, someone feels left out in the cold. Someone feels abandoned. Someone could also be sick. Um, someone could be worrying. Financial loss as well could be going on within a household. Especially during this time of COVID, um, some people may be affected. Um, their income may be affected by this. Next card out, we have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords speaks to confusion. Someone may be confused. Someone may be lost. Someone may need to make a decision. Um, maybe time to compromise. So someone may need to make a decision when it comes to a household. When it comes to finances. Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups come... The Knight of Cups comes in um, bringing love, ushering in love. He's our Prince Charming, um, the romantic one. But he's coming through with action. The Two of Cups. So we're definitely speaking of a union, a love union that's suffering from abandonment issues, could be income, three of wands in reverse. Someone is lacking direction. Not knowing which way to go. So there's confusion mentally. And um, also being stagnant in another sense. So there's no movement when it comes to this household unit. The world card in reverse. Keep getting a lot of reversals. World card in reverse speaks to a cycle not ending. So it may be time to end a situation, end something that's causing someone to feel abandoned.
one person's feelings is not being um, considered in this situation. It could be both. Have a king of wands. King of wands is someone that's passionate. He goes after what he wants. He's courageous. He's courageous. He goes after what he wants. Um, he can't be stopped. Once he has a mission um, in mind, he's definitely going after it. King of Wands has power. He's definitely a leader and courageous and bold. So we have one individual in this uh, love union that's bold. Okay, now we're getting down to it. We're actually seeing what the fuck is going on. We have someone that we have a cycle ending. And this cycle is ending because of this Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is someone that feels um, hurt. Someone that uh, it's a cycle that's ending from hurt, heartbreak betrayal so it was some type of betrayal that took place within this home sector that caused this foundation to lack strength which led to someone feeling left out in the cold brought in some confusion leading to lack of direction and a cycle that needs to end but can't end Now we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords speaks to depression. It speaks to anxiety. It speaks to fears. So someone may be in fear of this situation ending. Someone may, may want it to end and the other person may not. of cups when the three of cups comes out depending on the cards that's around it i would say a third party situation there's th too many cups in this situation that could late could have led to the breakdown of this family Equal give and take could be an issue. One person give, not giving enough. It doesn't necessarily have to be funds. It could be emotions. could be love, compassion, empathy. There's a lot of things that could be missing with this Six of Pentacles besides funds. Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups, of course, that is Pisces, um, Scorpio, Cancer. I also see with the King of Wands, could be Leo, Sagittarius, or what's the other sign? Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Is what I'm seeing. So this Queen of Cups is nurturing. She's supportive. She's loving. And she may be the one that is giving but not receiving. 
or you may flip the roles how they may need to be reversed if need be. But someone is um, not giving enough to this connection. Page of Pentacles. With this Page of Pentacles, could be um, a child, could be a new pay raise, could be a new job, could be um, news about some money. Maybe this would lighten the load and uh, smooth things out within this household. So that could be something that's coming up soon. New money. You know, we all tend to get a little stressed when our money is funny. I'm gonna pull one more card and then I'm gonna leave it there. Four of Wands. Yes, this promotion, this new money, this news about money, I feel would bring stability into this home sector. It could ease up a few things, ease up the stress, ease up the depression, and bring some stability. Even though in some people's situation, money may not have been an issue. In some situations, money was an issue with the Five of Pentacles. In some situations, third party was the source of the issue. So um, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards as always and see what messages the universe has for us today. Winning. You got a good thing going, don't ruin that shit. Within this family unit, it's hard to come across someone that's loyal or someone that's down for you or there for you. So if you have a good thing going, don't ruin it. You are giving away the power. You are a badass. Act like it. If it's time to move on from this situation, let it be. Don't give away your power. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You are a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. We're all grown. We are responsible for ourselves. We are responsible for our own therapy and whatever else we may need. Take advantage of it and stop making it other people's fault. Time to let go. Can we talk about that? Move the fuck on. We definitely talked about that with the Ten of Swords. All right. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for all of your support, all of the comments, um, all of the subscribes, the shares. I really appreciate it. This is a new page for me, and it's actually doing much better than what I thought it would. And I wanted to say thank you to everyone. Um, yeah, just continue to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time I drop a video. Thank you. Bye.